Oxford Reading Tree Biff, Chip and Kipper Stories Level 7 Written by Roderick Hunt Illustrated by Alex Brichter Series created by Roderick Hunt and Alex Brichter Published by Oxford University Press 2011 Hi everyone, this is Miss Tong. Let's finish reading A Sea Mystery. Previously, the children saw a sailing boat, but no one was on it. As the boat got near, Chip saw a rope hanging into the water. They tied the rope to the oar, then they climbed up onto the boat. They looked around for the crew. There were nets and baskets of fish on deck, but no crew. There was an open hatch leading down into the boat. The children went down into a large cabin. It was lit by lamps. There was a big table in the middle of the cabin. The table was set for dinner. In the corner, a big pot of stew was bubbling away on a stove. On the table, there were three mugs of hot tea. But no crew. Suddenly, there was a loud crash above them. The boat shook. The children ran up on deck. The fog had gone. It was windy. The sail had caught the wind. The boat had turned around. The boat started to move quickly. Biff tried to steer it. Chip tried to tie down the sail. Kipper went to the front and looked out. What did he see? Look out! Shouted Kipper. Hold on! shouted Biff. She turned the wheel hard. Chip fell over. But the boat missed the rocks. Phew! That was close! <laughs> yelled Kipper. What a teamwork! <laughs> Kipper spotted the rocks. Biff steered the boat fast. Chip Tie down the sail. They worked together to save the boat. The children could do anything. <laughs> but where was the crew? Was it possible that the crew really was not on board? What a mystery! The boat sailed on. Suddenly, Kipa saw a little rowing boat. In it were two men and a boy. They were waving. <coughs> Help us! They shouted. We can't row! We've only got one oar! <coughs> For the rowing boat to work, you need two oars. One on the right and one on the left. You row them on each side at the same time. Then the boat can go forward. One oar would not work. Why were the two men and the boy in the little rowing boat? Why did they have only one oar? It was a mystery. I'm sure the children had tons of questions too. They could ask them when they got on board. Why couldn't the man row their boat? Because
because they only had one oar. Chip pulled up the oar. He threw it to the man. They caught the oar. Then the man rowed to the boat and climbed on. Which oar did Chip pull up? Yes, it was the oar the children used to keep them afloat. Where did he get the oar? Yes, he broke it off of the model boat and brought it to the magic adventure. But wait a second. Do you think Chip's oar looked the same? As the man's oar. Who are you? Asked Biff. I'm Captain Turbot. This is Flounder, and the boy's called Shrimp. Said the captain. This is our boat, the Barnacle. So, they were the crew. <laughs> Wait a second. Captain Turbot's name sounded familiar. Where have we seen it? Ah, <coughs>、oh, yes, it was on the sign of the shop that had a model boat. <coughs> Could this Captain Turbot be the old man's great grandfather? Do you remember? What happened to the old man's great grandfather? Yes, he was lost at sea. <coughs> well, this Captain Turbot was lost at sea just now. Thanks to the children, he and his crew were saved. <coughs> But why did they get in a rowing boat? At night, and why was the rowing boat with only one oar? <coughs> What happened to you? <coughs> asked Kipper. We were about to eat, said Flounder. Shrimp was pulling up the last net when we struck a rock, and he fell in. <coughs> the crew had funny names. Flounder 就是比目鱼 ，shrimp 就是虾子 ，barnacle 就是藤壶。这是一种啊，密密麻麻附着在岩石上的节肢动物。Life on a fishing boat could be fun and dangerous at the same time. You could fall into the sea. If you were not careful, what happened to Shrimp after he fell in? Why did Shrimp fall into the water? Because the boat struck a rock and shook Shrimp off the boat. We got in the boat to help him. Said the captain. But we only had one oar. We couldn't row back. Where did you find our oar? Asked Shrimp. The captain and Flounder were kind. They both got in the boat to help Shrimp. Shrimp thought Chip's oar was theirs. Was he right? But Chip didn't take the oar from the rowing boat. He took it from the model boat. <laughs> It's a mystery," <laughs> said the captain. "We always keep the oars in the rowing boat." Chip thought about the model. "It is a mystery." He said. Suddenly, the magic key began to glow. 
what do you think Chip was thinking? He broke off the ore from the model in the real world. He then returned the ore to the captain in the magic world. Could it mean that the children saved the old man's great grandfather in the magic world? The magic took them back to Biff's room. Oh no! Said Kipper. We left the oar. They looked at the model boat. It had both its oars. It's a mystery," said Chip. The children left the oar in the magic world. What did they bring back? The rope that tied to the oar. But wait a second. The model boat had both its oars. How could it be possible? It was a mystery. All right, that's the whole story. Hope you like it. Goodbye. This program is brought to you by Himalaya. 